Peace. This is DJ Pizzo for HipHopSite.com, and we all hit play. I'm with Fool's Gold founder, Duck Sauce co-conspirator, Kanye's old DJ, Barbra Streisand Stupper, Bad MFer, DJ A-Track. How are you, brother? What's up? How are you? Cool, man. What's happening? Oh, you know, in Vegas. Doing One Oak tonight? Doing One Oak tonight. This is your first uh, show for the Light Group. Yes. And well, no, do they do the Haze? I played Haze. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we played the Haze once. Okay, yeah. so um, what can you tell me, tell me about uh, what's happening tonight? Uh, I never really know what's happening before I get to a gig. <laughs> I just I show up and right. check out the crowd and, and, and do my thing. But, um, you know, it's it's almost New Year's Eve. It's, it's yeah. New Year's Eve Eve, Eve right, right. I think. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I know the One Oak Club in New York, so I kind of have a general idea of what to expect. Right, right. And I'm just going to go in and do my thing and, and, you know, work out my way to play a set that... It's always important for me to play a set that's, you know, different from what the crowd hears every right. night or every week or whatever. Absolutely. So every every show is kind of like solving a puzzle how I can bring my agenda while right. still keep, keeping people happy. Now you have, um, you guys recently, Fool's Gold, released the Lucy's compilation. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. We've been working on it for about a year, so I'm, I'm real happy that, that it's out. Um, Lucy's is a 22-track compilation yeah. of rap music. Yeah. And, and it's not only uh, artists that are assigned to Fool's Gold, it's also extended family. I mean, the, the general idea was just like, you know, at this point we're, we're friends with a lot of people in the scene. Right, of course. And, you know, uh, we've seen uh, just a whole a whole wave of, of um, gritty rap come out recently. Right. And, and, you know, I think us putting out Danny Brown you know, placed us in a you know rather central place, uh, spot in, in in that whole movement, uh -huh. and you know so in a way that like when we throw our events, especially in New York, like a lot of those dudes are just right. you know hanging out backstage or whatever. Especially that we book a lot of rap artists, right, right. you know, at our shows. People, you know, certain DJs know Fool's Gold for electronic music, but then we do shows in New York. Actually, I'm wearing the T-shirt with French Montana. Right, right. Event. So like that's a big part of us. Uh, you know what we stand for. Um, so we put together this compilation with like extended family of Fool's Gold, you know, ranging from guys like Casey, uh, Casey Veggies, Chuck yeah. English, of course Danny Brown, Randy Marshall, who's the latest signing to the label. He's got the first song on the comp. Right. And then there's Indonis as well, of course. But then there's guys like uh, Problem. We even have uh, Freeway doing a new song. Right, right. Jason Cash, who's a good friend. Um, you know, uh, and, and even like guys from Main Attraction, um, Troy Ave and so on, Flatbush Zombies. There's a remix to my song Piss Test, which you know originally came out about a year ago, um, and, and many more. So it's it's you know it's sort of highly curated um, slice of time. Right, right. Like Fool's Gold. You know, Fool's Gold is um, you know run by myself and, and Nick Catch Dubs. We're, we're New York DJs. We're you know we were hip hop fans before all this stuff, and and I think what we do best is curating. Right, right. So um, it was it was it was literally fun to put together right, this right. compilation and just reach out to dudes and be like, hey, do you have a song, you know, for this comp and um, you know from A Rap music to all these dudes. Yeah. And um, and then the packaging was a whole other thing because we we ran with the the concept. Of the Lucy cigarette, and we made oh, yeah. a, a USB yeah, cigarette so stick. It's dope. Which you know, that's another side of Fool's Gold that's really fun for for myself and Nick. Is just like you know, we have these ideas and we get to execute them. Right, it's right. Like, yo, wouldn't it be ill if we did a cigarette stick yeah, USB yeah. and then we get to actually make it? Right. Um, you know, and, and and package it in in a neat little box and stuff. So yeah, and yeah. you actually, um, you've always kind of been at the forefront of like. I mean, you have a deep understanding of both hip hop and house music, you know, and, yeah. and you were kind of like one of the first guys to, at least Fool's Gold was with uh, Day and Night with the Crookers remix, was to kind of like blend those two genres together. Yeah, um, um, yeah, that, that that was important. That was important to me. That was like in the early days of Fool's Gold, you know, between between the launch of Fool's Gold itself and early releases. Like you know the early Kid Sister stuff right. and the Cuddy single with the Crookers remix, right. and um, my Dirty South Dance mixtape that I did yep. right around the same time. Yep. 
you know, that was like my whole platform around 2007. It was right. like, you know, I'm into electronic music, but I wanted to have a hip hop, right. you know, edge. So, you know, let's figure out ways to, you know, mesh the sounds together. And, yeah. and back then it was really experimental. Like right. it, was, it was new and weird in right. that field. For sure. Yeah, now you hear it everywhere, but it's, you know, it, for us, it's 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 been part of. I mean, it's really it's the way that we DJ, anyways. We right. throw acapellas on stuff and, and loop shit up, you know. Yeah, that's actually yeah. That reminded me, like you have LP on a trap beat, essentially. Yeah. Which like, and he loves the beat. He's really yeah. happy with it because he recorded to the original beat. Right. You know, piss test the first version that came out uh -huh. last year um, was a lot weirder sounding, I think. Right. And then. For the remix, I teamed up with Flossodamus and we made more of a straightforward, you know, trap version of it. Uh, and, you know, I told LP like I'm switching the beat up, but I didn't tell right. him how exactly. And I sent him the final mix and he's like, yo, you killed it. So I was happy with yeah. that. No, actually, and I think he steals the show, really. No, no I agree. I think I actually love to hear him over some more of those type of beats. I mean, his yeah. beats are incredible. Yeah. Like everything he did this year for Killer Mike and, his, and himself. His own album was so good. Yeah. yeah was, but I mean, it, it also would be nice to hear him like do that kind of thing a little more too. Yeah. I mean, for, I remember, so LP, um, he came on board pretty early for the remix. I was right. working on that remix for a little bit and, and I got Flatbush Zombies um, and I wanted to add like someone else. I was actually trying to get Gunplay for a minute. This, yeah. is, this is an exclusive, I never right. revealed this. I was trying to get Gunplay on the track, uh -huh. but he's kind of a loose cannon. Yeah. I wasn't able to track him down, or to you know pin him down, I guess. Right, right. So then I was like, you know what, let's make this like a New York thing, and I got Jim Jones, and I remember thinking like... It was perfect. To having Jim Jones and LP on the same track, Yeah. it's just like, it's that is so much of what Fool's Gold is about. Right. So, that was cool. Yeah, and I mean, you, uh, who would you say I mean, you have like uh, guys like Action Bronson, Danny Brown uh -huh. coming out of New York, um, and oh, Danny's from Detroit, correct? Yeah. Yes. But I mean, like, who would you say out of on the uh, Lucy's comp is like the next Danny Brown or Action Bronson? Or um, for for me, it's Grande Marshall. I feel I feel confident about him. Yeah. Um, he's got the first song. He's from Philly, and um, and he's kind of a new voice for Philly. Like I think right. you know, Philly's got that that you know. Free way to Meek Mill kind of like right. screaming voice that right, a lot right. of dudes have been doing. <laughs> right. But Grande is on another tip. He's a, he's he's more he's post all that, right? And he's also a little bit more introspective. There's like if you listen to his mixtape 800, there's a lot of depth to it. Um, like he's 19, but he's really mature in his subject matter. Yeah. Um, but not in the corny way. He, he will say some ignorant shit when right. needed. When he's necessary. Just dope. Yeah, he's just dope. Now you you mentioned the Danny Brown album. Yeah. That is. It was originally going to be called ODB. Is that right? Yeah. He said in one interview ODB, and then the thing is ODB stands for Old Danny Brown, oh, and, okay. and now he's saying he just wants to call it Old. Um, so yeah, the, at, at this point the album's called Old. What can we expect from that record? Man, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really good. The thing that's dope with Danny is he's so, like, he's been doing this for a long time. Like, right. he's my age, like, he's, he's, he's honed this skill for a while. Yeah. And um, it's just, it's very complete, you know what I mean? So, like, um, you know, on just as much as on, you know, on certain records, he's, he's in that sort of, like, hybrid zone of, of just, like, psychedelic loops and just him having his, rapping his ass off. And then there's definitely a lot of other tracks that are similar to like the bonus cuts of uh -huh. of Triple X, where it was more like ratchet type of beats and him right. just being almost making fun of that shit, but making it good at the same time. But then he's got other records that are just like neither of those categories, just him making ill futuristic shit with you know messing with his voice, right, doing right, different right. voices, and just like he he just keeps getting better and better at his craft, and and the full picture is just such a body of work. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know, at this point in time, the album format is not even necessary for everyone. Right, but right. someone like Danny, it's good that he's making albums yeah. because it's a it's a body of work. It's like literally a contribution like to the culture. It's, it's, it's dope. That's dope. Yeah. So he so, who's producing and is there other guests or? Um, he's uh, I'm trying to think of what he's already said because I don't want to speak. Okay, okay, but there's not. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, for the most part, he's still working with a lot of the dudes that did stuff on Triple X, from right. Skywalker to Frank White. Right. Um, he's got some really dope joints with Oh No, and then there's a few new things. 
Um, Darky Freaker, who did that song Blueberry, yeah. uh, has a new song on his album. Um, but I think there'll be a few surprises as well. Yeah, there's there's a lot of music that's gonna come up. Good, good. Yeah. Cool. Anything else you want to add? Um, Happy New Year. Happy <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. We're all still here, 2013. Yeah, man. A track, Pizzo, Hip Hop site. We all hit play. Fool's Gold. Yeah. And we're out. Peace. Let's go. Fuck a piss test. <laughs> Fuck up this test. Fuck up yo. Fuck up this test. Fuck up yo. Fuck up this test. Big and trippin' since I was born and I ain't dead yet.